Hi, hi. So in the previous video, we finally deduced what this that function sigma that transform the normal unit vector into a fraction on a plane looks like. Okay, it was a three by three matrix transformer because it was a, mat a linear transformation that it is suggested by Cauchy. So in this video, we are going to introduce the term stress. Okay, so now let us first see the definition of what a stress is. Okay, the Wikipedia definition. So stress is a physical quantity that expresses the internal force per unit area that neighboring particle of a continuous material exert on each other. Okay, but uh, I think we have seen this definition before. This was a traction vector, right? That we define at a point whatever internal forces that the neighboring particles are applying on a, on a particular particle per unit area. This is called the traction vector. So, what the stress is if it's not the traction vector? Okay. So, how is it different from the traction vector? Now, the answer lies here. The traction vector that we calculated earlier provided the information about the internal forces acting at a point and it depends upon the orientation of the cut plane. We have seen that thing. Okay. This is because then as the neighbor changes, neighbor changes as we cut change the cut plane orientation and each neighbor is different. They are differently loaded. We saw a intuitive picture for that, this this picture, because the neighbor could be different they could be differently loaded and depending on which plane or in which you are making observation in the traction would be different okay so then what the stress is now if we can represent this complete behavior okay around a particle the behavior of all the neighbors no need of cutting it using this cut plane okay can a single physical quantity represent this complete nature of internal force acting at a point considering effect of all the neighbors okay, from all possible neighbors in all 360 degrees in all three directions can, can we represent this is it possible this property is called stress at that point okay so note that the difference between attraction and a stress at a point is the stress talks about this force per unit area or the impact of the uh, neighboring particles in a specific direction right but stress is much bigger or contain much more information than attraction is if, if you take infinite tractions for example that will give you a stress okay it contains all the information around a particle okay so that's what stress is okay now we saw that the transformer sigma actually converted the normal unit vector into the traction on that plane whose normal is there so somehow we can think that there is some information stored in the sigma and its components in a specific coordinate system such that it knows how things changes as you, as you change the orientation okay you you can input any sigma any any normal vector and you'll get trans uh, traction in that mm, plane so in that sense sigma knows a lot it knows everything okay so so this sigma is actually the stress that we defined in the previous slide okay so now everything that we we, we introduce the sigma transformer and in the previous previous slide we introduced what the stress are and we now come to the conclusion that both these two things are the same and we call this stress as the cauchy stress tensor so a new term tensor okay we'll see what a tensor is separately in in the next video because it will need some explanation and now this stress is a physical quantity define at a point it actually uh, has a lot of information stored in a single three by three matrix okay that, that's what we know right now and uh, it, it gives you traction vector in any direction that you want okay 
so it's, it's a bit strange that a function or a transformer that we call the sigma is actually a physical quantity right but this actually is the fact that this transformer is actually uh, a physical property i'll explain when we we'll discuss tensor there is some other properties that you are familiar with are also a transformer and a physical property okay so there are few questions that will come into your mind that how does it look like in 3d can you visualize the water stress is okay you can visualize the tensor right you can you draw a line and an arrow you can visualize it will you draw it can you draw stress okay you don't know right now can you measure it experimentally you can measure forces okay how can you measure stress i'm it's very like a way uh, it's very cloudy right now you don't know how to measure this thing this is some kind of uh, superior property that that gives you information in all the direction all the possible infinite directions it gives information so how will you, how will it look can you measure it and what is a tensor in the in the term cauchy stress tensor and what is a tensor and why the stress is a tensor we'll look to get to the answer of these questions in the next few videos and uh, so that's it for this video we'll in this video we finally uh, uh, connected to different quantities that the met trans the linear transformer sigma and the stress as a quantity so thank you for your time and please subscribe if you like this videos and want to see more of such content so thank you